Miss Annie. Come, quick. Look. Him go toward Fort Picacho, but him take Winter Trail. You'll never make it. Come on. by a snake, I guess. I want to thank you very much. Does my mask still frighten you? Nothing in this West frightens me. Everything astounds me. But that's not the point. I must get to Fort Picacho tonight. Well, Miss Edwards, why is it necessary to reach the fort tonight? To prevent a murder, that's why. A cold-blooded murder. Oh, you're West. You're stupid, blundering, brutal West. Would you mind telling me about it? I may be able to help. The Marshal of Panamint. He'll be shot down tomorrow, killed by a gang of outlaws unless something is done. I must get to the fort and call out the troops. But getting to the fort wouldn't help. You see, the troops can't interfere in a purely civil matter. Civil matter? Criminal matter, you mean? Oh, you men. You're all alike. Talk, talk, talk. Can't somebody do something? Get your hands up. Preach! Are you all right, sir, honey? I followed your trail as fast as I could. Of course I'm all right, Roy. This man saved my life. This outlaw, you mean? Believe me, I'm not an outlaw. Look, I'm Marshal of Panamint. I only believe what I see. Now, take off that mask. You drop gun. All right, Tonto. He's a friend. You see, Marshal, this mask is on the side of the law. It's helped others. Maybe it can help you. I suppose you tell me what happened. I reckon I got no choice. Go ahead, Roy. Tell him. Let him see how idiotic a town full of men can be when they set their minds to it. Well, mister, I've only been Marshal less than a year. I got my badge about the time Sarah here came out from Boston to teach school. I engaged to teach children. Had I known the whole town needed educating, I would have stayed home. Well, Panama was a law-abiding town before Joe Huntsaker moved in. I'm coming to that. I arrested one of Big Joe's men last Saturday night, a gunslinger named Sonora Kid. Uh, him, bad medicine. Plenty bad. I threw him in jail. He's there now, waiting trial. What's the matter with that, Marshal? Just this. This creature, this Big Joe, whatever his name is, sent word into town that if the Sonora Kid is not turned loose by noon tomorrow, he'll come and get him. And if Roy stands in his way, that'll just be too bad for him. Certainly Roy's not alone. He must have the townspeople behind him. Too far behind him, if you ask me. Just let me tell you what the good citizens of Panama did to meet this challenge. I know. Order! Order! Quiet now. Charlie Matthews has the floor to give us a businessman's point of view. Judge, folks, let's face this calm and sensible. Big Joe means what he says. He'll ride into town tomorrow, his gunman with him. And they'll take the Sonora kid out of town to do it. So I say, let's beat them to it. Let's let the kid go now. And save our property. And maybe some lives. Now, just a minute. I listen to all the guff I'm going to. You back down now. You let Big Joe know you're scared. And him and his gang will move in on you sure as shooting, and I mean shooting. Why, he'll take your property and your lives, too, if you as much as let out a squawk. I say, let's call him. I say the kid goes to trial. Order! Order! Quiet! Cal Ames has been trying for ten minutes now to get a word in. Yes, Cal. I know how you feel, boys. As banker and Wells Fargo agent, I've got more to lose than most of you. But I'm on Roy's side. Marshall Bell is the law. And if he says he can deal with Big Joe Hunsaker, I say let him deal with him. Besides, Roy's no slouch with a gun. I got a good chance. Chance? What kind of a chance has an honest man got against a gunslinger that makes a business of killing? Justice isn't a matter of chance, it's a matter of right and wrong. And you don't decide that by who draws the fastest gun. Just leave it to chance often enough and there won't be anyone left but thieves and murderers. All the honest men will be dead, shot down in one vast insane shooting gallery. But they wouldn't listen. And you were the worst of the lot. Did you suggest anything to do about the situation, Miss Edwards? I surely did. It's as simple as ABC. When Big Joe rides into town tomorrow, let every man that owns a gun take cover. Then from the windows and the doors, shoot him down like the mad dog he is. Kill him before he kills anyone else. You mean bushwhack him? From hiding, without even giving him a chance to draw. 
I told her it would be cold-blooded murder, even against Big Joe. It would be nothing of the kind. It would be execution, pure and simple. The execution of a known killer. Roy isn't an executioner, Miss Edwards. He's a marshal. And a marshal can't shoot a man down in cold blood. Then what's your solution? I want you and Roy to go back to Panama. Back to Panama? And let Roy face that killer alone? I promise you, Roy will not face Big Joe alone. Look, stranger, I don't need any nursing. Thanks just the same. Big Joe don't scare me. Now, come on, honey. Don't honey me. Go on and get yourself killed if you want to. I don't care. Why did I have to let myself in for this? Why did I have to fall in love with a, an infant? All spunk and no brains. Oh, now, honey, you... Oh, Roy. Scratch like wild cat, purr like kitten. You think him have two women in one? She'll scratch to save him, purr to please him. Lucky man, Tonto. We've got to see to it that Big Joe doesn't change his luck. Come on. <laughs> Sure, he's the key to the whole situation. You've got to find out who he is. Come on. You follow the creek. We'll meet back here later. Nothing goes wrong, Joe. What could go wrong, Cal? This is going to be fun. I'm looking forward to it. Get in the house. What are you doing here, Ensign? Got him sneaking up the canyon. What are you doing here, I said? Who sent you? You know, Brad, I think this poor fellow's got something stuck in his throat. Take him over yonder and see if Tom can get it out. <laughs> Now, mind, you don't have to kill that Marshal Joe. Just lay him up till we're through. Better get used to shooting straight. Ain't so easy to aim crooked, Cal. Just you leave it to me. When's that big gold shipment due in? Early next week. Maybe Wednesday. No later. Perfect. Couldn't be better. Bye, Cal. Joe. while you've still got a face to talk with. This is your last chance, Injun. Spill it. You're hot yet, Tom? 
Plum White. Hey, talk. Now, who sent you? Tonto. Now, well, Brad. What's it mean? Ah, uh, some Indian lingo. How about it, Brad? Now? Yeah, go ahead. Hey, they're getting closer. Find out what Big Joe was up to. Set up a camp. Hide the horses as far back as you can. May do that, Kimitami. Right. You fellas was plum tuckered out. Getting ready to go Betty by. Me, I couldn't go to sleep. I got to wondering. How come we didn't see nobody where them shots come from? Well, sir, I went to look. Here's what I found. Silver bullet. It's the old ranger. If he's mixed up in this, it changes everything. We won't ride into town tomorrow. Of course we're riding in. When we get another chance to stop that meddling buzzard for good and all. Tom, when we ride in, I want you to pay attention to nothing else. Just plug him. Just him, you understand? It'll be a pleasure, boss. Joe's riding in at 10 o'clock. Where's Roy? I don't know. This room faces south, doesn't it? Yes, why? I just wanted to make sure. Now what? Don't let anyone in. Don't make a sound. Sarah, honey, you there? I don't know why I'm... You won't regret it. Now listen carefully on what you're to do. Many lives may depend. Like it's been said for. 
Big Joe's riding in. I seen him cross the dry wash at Avery's. From Avery's? Well, they should get here about 10. Where is Roy, anyway? If he's left us in the lurch, he should be run out of town. All right, all right. But I just don't believe old Roy's yellow dog, but that's all. Me neither. Roy's got something up his sleeve. You'll see. He'd better have. Anybody seen Sarah Miss Edwards this morning? Marshal Bell. Instead of worrying about a young lady who's probably safe in her room, you'd better give a little thought to your duty. Oh, there's plenty of time. There are precisely eight minutes of time. How come you're so sure of that? Why, why, everybody knows, Roy. Big Joe's outfit passed Avery's five minutes ago. All right, he comes, I'll handle him. I'll handle him. But you all listen here. This isn't only my fight. He's riding against the town. I'm no one. I want some deputies. Well, come on. I got a pocket full of badges. Who'll pin them on? Well, I would, Roy, but uh, I'm a family man. Me too, Roy. I, I just can't risk it. Give me a badge. I got to pass here to get to the jail. Now, John. Yes, Roy? You stand here. Open the door when I tell you to. Leave it open. Let's be out of sight. Right. Mr. Ames, wait till I go down the steps, then come out on the porch. Keep your hand close to your gun, but don't draw. Understand? I understand. I know what to do. John. Hold it, Marshal. Don't try to draw. Everybody be quiet and there'll be no bloodshed. You. Out in the street. Me? You mean me? There's a law against carrying guns in this town. No, tell me about it. You heard what I said? I'm coming for yours. <laughs> you hear that, boys? He's coming for my guns. <laughs> Never mind. I'll handle this myself. Don't nobody mix in. I'm not going to let him do it. Oh, better you stay inside. But it's not his job. Him help you.
I still don't know how he did it. Took Big Joe with his own gun. He was helped, darling. Helped? From on high. On high? What do you mean? Tell you later. Well, can't you even tell me his name? Well, they call him the Lone Ranger. I will soon. 